Beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, this is Brother Frank speaking to you from the International Mission Center in Krefeld, Germany. I wish to greet you with Psalms 118, that well-known scripture. This is the day the Lord has made. The day the Lord has made. We look back to the weekend just past the 1st and the 2nd of April. And beloved, I remember the day the 2nd of April, 1962. That is 55 years ago when I heard the all-penetrating, all-commanding voice of the Lord for the first time in my life. It's the truth. A man of God must know the time, the day of his calling, the place it happened when he was called to the ministry. And then I thought about Brother Branham, about the supernatural experiences he had, and one of those experiences he expressed in his sermon, Wisdom versus Faith, preached on April the 1st, 1962, when he could not make his trip to Switzerland but was commanded to return to Jeffersonville to store in the food. And he saw as he was taking barrels of food into the tabernacle. Beloved brothers and sisters, God has always spoken in parables to the prophets and even our Lord spoke in parables. But to make the point, the right point for this day, God has sent his servant and prophet with the message that would forerun the second coming of Christ. And the same God of heaven who called William Branham to the ministry is the same who called Brother Frank to the ministry. And on December the 3rd, 1962, Brother Branham told me by divine revelation in the presence of Banks Woods and Fred Sotman, that the food that I should put in store is the promised word of God for this day. And it's recorded in the messages which are being typed. God used Brother Branham to reveal the whole counsel of God to restore us back to the very foundation laid by the apostles and prophets. And he said a number of times, the message of the hour is back to the word, back to the beginning, back to God. So we understand that Brother Branham 
was not sent to start a new religion, but he was sent to restore, to bring back to the same foundation, the same teachings, to the apostolic doctrine. And therefore, we have to say and emphasize the first and the last sermon, the first and the last baptism, the first and the last Lord's Supper. Everything must be the same. A complete and total restoration must take place before the return of Jesus Christ, our Lord. And looking back to the 55 years, beloved, I hope you try to understand my situation and the responsibility that I have towards God and towards His people. And we have to say it over and again. This is a special time, the most important time before the return of Christ. And the decision we make now we're going to take with us to eternity. And therefore, it is so important to take our stand upon the Word of God only. William Branham took the Bible under his arm and said, This is my absolute. And friends, especially ministering brothers, this is the time when we must take all statements back into the Word of God and finally find the answer in the Word of God. This is the message of the hour. Now to a few experiences, beloved, Brothers and sisters, 55 years is a long space of time. In 1962, I was 29, and now I'm 83. But by the grace of God, I used all these years, especially the time since 1966. We all know Brother Branham was taken to be with the Lord on my birthday, December the 24th, 1965. I saw the prophet going up on the supernatural cloud. I was there at his funeral, these eyes have seen him in the coffin on April the 10th, 1966, and the funeral took place on April the 11th. But, beloved friends, the main thing is this, that after Brother Branham was taken to glory, the message of the hour was taken to the ends of the earth. And I'm looking back to all these years. I've now been to exactly 160 countries personally and preached in over 650 cities all over the earth. Now I have the record of over 10,000 miles in the air, traveling every month to the different nations because of one 
divine commission the Lord gave me on April the 2nd, 62, and the prophet confirmed on December the 3rd, 1962. Can you imagine what it means to hear the words of the Lord with these ears? My servant, your time for this city will soon be over. I will send you to other cities to preach my word. Can you imagine? Even many of you know my testimony of what the Lord said. A famine would come, store in food. And then Brother Branham says, the food you have to put in store is the promised word of God for this day. He also said the experience of June 11th, 1933, quite often as John the Baptist was sent to forerun the first coming of Christ, you are sent with a message that will forerun the second coming of Christ. He even made the statement, not that I would forerun, but the message would forerun the second coming of Christ. Beloved, we have to be honest. Don't try to make your own interpretations. No, we must face reality. After the opening of the seals, in March 1963, Brother Branham could not come to Germany or Finland or Switzerland or India or anywhere. And when he could make the trip to South Africa, there was a stamp in his passport not permitted to partake in religious meetings. So he never had the possibility to share the message he preached in the United States after 1963, general sermons everywhere. But after the funeral, when I returned to my hotel room, beloved brothers and sisters, this time not an audible voice, but it spoke in my heart. Now your time has come to go from city to city, from country to country, to give out the spiritual food, to share the message of the hour which must forerun the second coming of Christ. I've done things according to the commission the Lord gave me, and if I would share with you the number of experiences the Lord gave me by His grace, I never asked Him to speak to me. I never asked Him to send me. But it's His decision, time after time, in the circular letter, April, my 2017, I shall share a number of experiences. Let me tell you one, one special experience of December the 28th, 1982. Beloved, I was in room in my room, and friends, as you hear my voice, my servant, call my people together. I want them to hear my words. 
I'll just translate it from the German into the English language. Only one time in Bible days, in Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 10, the same words are found. You can read Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 10. Moses was to call God's people together to hear the words of God so they should fear God. In the same way, I must call God's people together to hear the words of Almighty God. Not one word outside the Bible, but every word inside the Bible. And I can say before God and man, in the over 9,000 sermons I preached in all these years, I never preached any interpretation. Not one time. Not one time. I just opened this book and I preached from this book. Glory be to God. And I can tell you right now that all brothers who teach and preach their own interpretations are deceiving God's people because they refer to William Branham and they don't refer to the Word of God. And they mislead the people, not returning to the Word of God, which lasts forever. As you must understand, Brother Branham was a man sent by God with the infallible ministry to see visions to hear the voice telling him what the vision means. I was in his meetings in Germany, in the USA. I knew Brother Branham personally. But the same William Branham said, my words are the words of a man. They can fail, but God's word can never fail. And I translated Brother Branham's sermons into the German language. I know precisely what and where he said something. Please do not take a statement out of context and make your own doctrine from it, but take it from here to there and you will see there is no contradiction. So by the grace of God, I could share a number of experiences, of supernatural experiences. The Lord, by His grace, has granted me to have. And we believe that we're now living very, very close to the second coming of Christ. Every Bible prophecy is fulfilled. And our Lord said, when you see all these things taking place, look up for your redemption is drawing near. Beloved brothers and sisters, I suffer because of the many misinterpretations of the statements Brother Branham made. It's the biggest hurt that I receive. Not the criticism from journalists or from anyone outside, but from inside. And as the Apostle Paul was writing, out from your own midst will come false teachers drawing disciples after themselves. Why do we have so many message churches in one city? 
Are you still clear in your mind? So many different groups and all claiming to believe the prophet, if they all would believe God, if they all would believe the word of God, there would be one church in every city on earth. And brothers and sisters, I have to also say this. Up till 1979, there was no body teaching wrong things. But after 1979, all the brothers who withdrew and did not respect the decision God had made to call a brother Frank to take the message to the ends of the earth, they withdrew because they came under wrong inspiration. And everyone who took a wrong decision, teaching wrong things, has turned against Brother Frank. But at the same time, were brothers all over the earth sharing the same food. Beloved, what can you say if I may refer to one more experience? It was a very special day. Sunday, September the 19th in Edmonton. As you hear my voice, my servant, I ordained you according to Matthew 24, verse 45 to 47, to give out my food in due season. Beloved, that's as true as every word in this book. So by the grace of God, as the Lord has used my after Brother Branham, to share the word all over the earth. Now, brothers, all over the earth, share the same word of God with the true children of God, staying in the word of God, waiting for the return of our Lord Jesus Christ. May the blessings of Almighty God rest upon you. Please understand, this day, April the 2nd, had a very, very special meaning to me forever. May God bless you and be with you, is my prayer in Jesus' holy name. Amen.